Diborane 6, generally known as diborane is the chemical compound consisting of boron and hydrogen with the formula B2H6. It is a colorless, pyrophoric gas with a repulsively sweet odor. Synonyms include boroethane, boron hydride, and diboron hexahydride. Diborane is a key boron compound with a variety of applications. It has attracted wide attention for its electronic structure. Its derivatives are useful reagents. Topic: <laughs> Structure and bonding. Diborane adopts a D2H structure containing four terminal and two bridging hydrogen atoms. The model determined by molecular orbital theory indicates that the bonds between boron and the terminal hydrogen atoms are conventional two-center, two-electron covalent bonds. The bonding between the boron atoms and the bridging hydrogen atoms is, however, different from that in molecules such as hydrocarbons. Having used two electrons in bonding to the terminal hydrogen atoms, each boron has one valence electron remaining for additional bonding. The bridging hydrogen atoms provide one electron each. Thus the B2H2 ring is held together by four electrons, an example of three-center two-electron bonding. This type of bond is sometimes called a banana bond. The lengths of the BH bridge bonds and the BH terminal bonds are 1.33 and 1.19a respectively, and this difference in the lengths of these bonds reflects the difference in their strengths, the BH bridge bonds being relatively weaker. The weakness of the BH bridge versus BH terminal bonds is indicated by their vibrational signatures in the infrared spectrum, being approximately 2100 and 2500 cm1, respectively. The structure is isoelectronic with C2H62+, which would arise from the diprotonation of the planar molecule ethene. Diborane is one of many compounds with such unusual bonding. Of the other elements in group IIIA, gallium is known to form a similar compound, digallin, gallium 3 hydride. Aluminium forms a polymeric hydride, aluminium hydride, and although unstable aluminium hydride has been isolated in solid hydrogen and is isostructural with diborane. Topic: Production and synthesis. Extensive studies of diborane have led to the development of multiple syntheses. Most preparations entail reactions of hydride donors with boron halides or alkoxides. The industrial synthesis of diborane involves the reduction of BF3 by sodium hydride, lithium hydride or lithium aluminium hydride. 8BF3 plus 6LIHB2H6 plus 6LIBF42 Laboratory methods start from boron trichloride with lithium aluminium hydride or from boron trifluoride ether solution with sodium borohydride. Both methods result in as much as 30% yield. 4BCL3 plus 3LIALH42 B2H6 plus 3LIL Cl4 4 BF3 plus 3 NaBH42 B2H6 plus 3 NaBF4 Older methods entail the direct reaction of borohydride salts with a non oxidizing acid, such as phosphoric acid or dilute sulfuric acid. 2 BH4 minus plus 2H plus 2H2 plus B2H6 Similarly, oxidation of borohydride salts has been demonstrated and remains convenient for small scale preparations. For example, using iodine as an oxidizer 2NaBH4 plus i 22 Ni plus B2H6 plus H2 Another small-scale synthesis uses potassium hydroborate and phosphoric acid as starting materials. Reactions Diborane is a highly reactive and versatile reagent that has numerous applications. Its dominating reaction pattern involves formation of adducts with Lewis bases. Often such initial adducts proceed rapidly to give other products. It reacts with ammonia to form the diammoniate of diborane, DADB, with lesser quantities of ammonia borane depending on the conditions used. Diborane also reacts readily with alkynes to form substituted alkene products which will readily undergo further addition reactions. As a pyrophoric substance, diborane reacts exothermically with oxygen to form boron trioxide and water, so much that it was considered as a possible rocket or ramjet propellant but discarded because back then it was too expensive and dangerous to handle. 
2B2H6 plus 6O2 2B2 O3 plus 6H2 O delta hour. Topic minus 2,035 kilojoules per mole. Minus 73. 47 kJ per gram diborane also reacts violently with water to form hydrogen and boric acid B2H6 plus 6H2O2B 3 plus 6H2 delta hour topic -466 kJ per mole -4 116 82 kJ per gram diborane also reacts with methanol to give hydrogen and trimethoxyborate ester B2H6 plus 6MeOH2B 3 plus 6H2 treating diborane with sodium amalgam gives NaBH4 and Na B3H8. When diborane is treated with lithium hydride in diethyl ether, lithium borohydride is formed. B2H6 plus 2LiH2 LiBH4 diborane reacts with anhydrous hydrogen chloride or hydrogen bromide gas to give a boron halohydride. B2H6 plus HX B2H5X plus H2 X equals Cl bridge treating diborane with carbon monoxide at 470 K and 20 bars gives H3BCO equals Topic Reagent in organic synthesis equals Diborane and its variants are central organic synthesis reagents for hydroboration, whereby alkenes add across the BH bonds to give trialkylboranes. Diborane is used as a reducing agent roughly complementary to the reactivity of lithium-aluminium hydride. The compound readily reduces carboxylic acids to the corresponding alcohols, whereas ketones react only sluggishly. <laughs> History Diborane was first synthesized in the 19th century by hydrolysis of metal borides, but it was never analyzed. From 1912 to 1936, the major pioneer in the chemistry of boron hydrides, Alfred Stock, undertook his research that led to the methods for the synthesis and handling of the highly reactive, volatile, and often toxic boron hydrides. He proposed the first ethane-like structure of diborane. Electron diffraction measurements by S. H. Bauer initially appeared to support his proposed structure, because of a personal communication with L. Pauling who supported the ethane-like structure. H. I. Schlesinger did not specifically discuss three-center two-electron bonding in his then-classic review in the early 1940s. The review does, however, discuss the C2V structure in some depth. It is to be recognized that this formulation easily accounts for many of the chemical properties of diborane." In 1943 an undergraduate student at Balliol College, Oxford, H. Christopher Longwet Higgins, published the currently accepted structure together with R. P. Bell. This structure had already been described in 1921 by Dilthey. The years following the Longwet higgins bell proposal witnessed a colorful discussion about the correct structure. The debate ended with the electron diffraction measurement in 1951 by K. Hedberg and V. Showmaker, with the confirmation of the structure shown in the schemes on this page. William Nunn Lipscomb, Jr. further confirmed the molecular structure of boranes using X ray crystallography in the 1950s, and developed theories to explain its bonding. Later, he applied the same methods to related problems, including the structure of carboranes on which he directed the research of future Nobel Prize winner Roald Hoffman. Lipscomb himself received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1976 for his efforts. Other uses Diborane has been tested as a rocket propellant. Complete combustion is strongly exothermic. However, combustion is not complete in the rocket engine, as some boron monoxide, Bo, is produced. This mirrors the incomplete combustion of hydrocarbons, to produce carbon monoxide, CO. Diborane has been used as a rubber vulcanizer, as a catalyst for hydrocarbon polymerization, as a flame speed accelerator, and as a doping agent for the production of semiconductors. 
It is also an intermediate in the production of highly pure boron for semiconductor production. It is also used to coat the walls of tokamaks to reduce the amount of heavy metal impurities in the core plasma. Safety The toxic effects of diborane are primarily due to its irritant properties. Short-term exposure to diborane can cause a sensation of tightness of the chest, shortness of breath, cough, and wheezing. These signs and symptoms can occur immediately or be delayed for up to 24 hours. Skin and eye irritation can also occur. Studies in animals have shown that diborane causes the same type of effects observed in humans. People exposed for a long time to low amounts of diborane have experienced respiratory irritation, seizures, fatigue, drowsiness, confusion, and occasional transient tremors. <laughs> 